This video demonstrates the process of measuring a wedge and the rapid analysis available with Reveal. We use APRA's S100 series interferometer and Reveal version 1.4. We will demonstrate how to set up a measurement, calibrate pixel size, and some troubleshooting methods for getting a clean separation of the wedge from the reference flat. Measurement setup is determined by wedge transparency. Transparent wedges are measured in transmission, where light passes through the part and reflects off the reference flat. If a wedge is reflective or opaque, it will be measured in reflection, where light is only reflected off the front surface of the part and does not pass through to reflect off the reference flat. In Reveal, the measurement process is the same, regardless of measurement setup type. When measuring a wedge, a small optical cavity is preferred. Position the reference flat just far enough from the transmission flat to fit the part between them. Use the alignment camera to align the reference flat. Then use the measurement camera to null the fringes. Measure the reference flat. It is critical that you calibrate pixel size in order to have an accurate wedge measurement. First, open the optical wedge analysis screen from the analysis drop-down menu. Open the pixel calibrator and enter the diameter of the reference flat. Click Set Diameter and then OK. Introduce the wedge to the optical cavity. Make sure there is no reflection coming off the part by tilting it away from the camera. Using the stage controls, focus the camera on the wedge. The camera may be particularly difficult to focus, especially if the measurement is in reflection. Take a measurement. Reveal automatically attempts to separate the wedge from the reference surface, but automatic detection is not always perfect. Using the data erosion filter may be enough to properly isolate the surfaces. If not, add a compound mask to the edge of the part to ensure surface separation. Open the frame screen. Select a circular mask from the mask editor and add it to the outside edge of the part. Invert this first mask. Add a second mask inside the edge of the part and use exclusive sum to combine the two filters to make a ring of excluded data in order to clearly separate the reference flat from the wedge. Now in the main wedge analysis screen, you can see that there are four separate islands of data. Three islands contain the reference flat and one represents the wedge. Use the Analysis Tools tab to identify which of the fields are reference flat fields by selecting their corresponding label number. Enter the index of refraction of the part and select the correct measurement type. Reveal will automatically calculate all of the wedge results including wedge magnitude and angle and the tilt magnitude and angle. Further information, including generating reports and more data analysis options, can be found in the Reveal Manual.